Jonathan Johansson is injured. Gordon Jury is ruled out as well, so it's the return of Argentinian striker Gabriel Amato. Rangers start the match, and I'm sure the voice of Dick Advocat is still ringing in their ears after that midweek Scottish Premier League defeat. It's brought to a shuddering end their unbeaten run of 17 games. The last six of those had all been won. So that's been hard to take for Rangers. And they now plan to set off on another run. But Dundee United will make things difficult for them. A rejuvenated Dundee United under Paul Sturrock. Here's Colin Hendry playing his sixth match on the trot, having struggled to make the first team breakthrough. A long ball from him. Olsen's efforts, good handling from Chabonnier. Dundee United working hard at closing down, not giving Rangers any time on the ball. There's an example from Siggy Jonsson. This is promising. Here's Easton, lining up the shot. And it was a good one from Craig Easton. And Mauricio's clearance came off Dodds. Matthew is onside. Racing to keep that in. Easton is the man in the middle. Behind him. It might drop here for Billy Dodds. Chance for Dodds! Billy Dodds for Dundee United. 25 minutes gone. And this fairy tale spell in the career of Billy Dodds continues. Now Perini. Rod Wallace, in for Amato. Zetterland and Easton. Craig Easton, very promising player. Skullmark, that's a good ball for Murphy. He can pull that back from the byline. And what a chance that was for Shell Olofsson, right on the penalty spot. He just about missed that completely. Well set up by Matthew, and that could well have been number two for Dundee United. Controlled well, a difficult ball for Gabriel Amato. Now Alberts moving on at speed. Powerful run. And the run was halted by Morris Smallpass's tackle at the edge of the area. The Rangers fans still jeering at the decision made here. They reckon that might have been a foul on George Alberts, but I think we proved there that Morris Malpass got the ball. Midmore's throw, Amato slick, Rob Wallace! What a save, Steve Dykstra. He couldn't have known too much about that, that was pure instinct. Amato unable to make much of that. Came off Skullmark. And the Rangers defence sliced open there with great ease. Here's Billy Dodds. Across comes Barry Ferguson, and Shell Olofsson. Arthur Newman is on for Tony Vidmar. Dundee United get the match restarted, and they'll be delighted with their efforts in the first 45 minutes. It's been a real tactical success for them. Under the guidance of Paul Sturrock, and well may he be smiling because it's gone according to plan in the first half, very tight defensively, and counter-attacking to some effect with Dodds and Matthew and Olofsson and Rangers have a big job on their hands to work their way back into this game long ball from Amoruso flicked on by Kincelskis across comes Malpass Amato back onto the left foot good tackle by Morris Malpass waited his moment and timed it perfectly Perini is away from Zetterlund it's George Alberts, and it's off target. Trying to play a 1-2 with Mathy. Good play from Newman. And good distribution from Chaponnier. Chance for Alberts to make some progress. Now Evan Bronckhorst. Wallace. There's a Matto! Saved by Dutchrock. Big mistake there by Lorenzo Amoruso.
And Marusso to Albert. Lining up the shot, Josh Albert! It was a sizzler, and it wasn't too far off target. And just skimmed the roof of the net on its way over. In from Van Bronckhorst. Took a ricochet off Wallace. Now Albert. That's for Newman. Three at the far post. That was Amato. That was Henry. And that was Ron Wallace. That's 1-1. 18 minutes of the second half gone. I think a fair bit of relief there for Dick Advocat and the Rangers supporters, as well as the obvious delight. It's been a frustrating match so far, and it's taken more than an hour for Rangers to put the ball in the net. And again, the goal down to the sharpness of Wallace, but it was well built up. Well-weighted pass from Albert. The pullback from Arthur Newman. It was knocked back at the far post by Amato, turned in by Henry, and fired into the net by Rod Wallace. That's 12 for the season for Rod Wallace. In from Pasquale, took a touch off Jim McCloskey, and almost offered up a chance there for Alex Mathie. And Justice. Trying to free himself of the attentions of Pasquale. Now Newman. He's away from Stoltmark, playing the 1 2 with Van Bronckhorst. Played in by Van Bronckhorst. Colin Hendry's header. Flashing wide. Colin Hendry probing at the United defence. Chased by Amato. And he wins the corner kick. Delivered by Van Bronckhorst. And that's 2-1. Steve Dijkstra was a spectator there as Lorenzo Amoruso bulleted a header into the back of the net. Five minutes of the match left, lost by Dijkstra. And that may well have been an own goal off Siggy Jonsson. The contact there seemed to come off the Dundee United defender. Amaruso certainly went for it, but that may have blown off the head of Jonsson, and the credit, unfortunately, for Siggy Jonsson, I think will go to him. And Skoldmark. Too close to Chabonnier. Zettelin slips. Barry Ferguson plays it through. Rod Wallace is onside. Did that come off the arm of Morris well pass? I think it did, but it wasn't deliberate, and it's a corner kick. Rod Wallace raises his eyebrows. He thought he might well have a penalty kick there for handball against Malpass. He's never entirely happy, Dick Advocates, but he'll certainly be satisfied now with the scoreline. throw Rod Wallace won't be too upset because the seconds are ticking away towards what he hopes and a lot of people inside Ibrox hope will be a Rangers victory and Dundee United who put so much into this match end up a beaten team they were one up at half time thanks to Billy Dodds it was Rod Wallace who equalised with his 12th goal of the season so sharp in front of goal he proved it yet again what a steal he's been, a free transfer from Leeds United.